this is Mr. T and today's lesson is on parabolas. This will be the first of the four conic, ex conic sections that we explore. The geometrical definition of parabolas is a set of points in a plane and those points all have in common a distance between a fixed line called the directrix and a fixed point called the focus. If we draw a line through the focus and perpendicular to the directrix, we will have a line of symmetry and the two halves of the parabola will be symmetrical as we might remember from when we did uh, quadratic functions. The vertex will be on that line of symmetry and it will be halfway between the focus and the directrix. So if we look at this, we have a parabola here. We have a directrix and the definition said that the points on this parabola are equal distance between the focus and the line. So if we look at the directrix, we have two units to the vertex and I mean from the focus to the vertex and from the vertex to the directrix. So this point meets our definition. If we went four to the left and four down, we have a point that is equally distant from the focus and the directrix. And again, as you go to any point, the distance from that point to the focus and the distance straight down to the directrix would be the same. Parabolas are used quite a bit in uh, everyday life, particularly for mirrors, because anything that's bouncing off the inside of the parabola will all be focused, uh, concentrated onto the focus. We have two forms of parabolas, vertical and horizontal. Now notice that for the first time here on conics, when we have a horizontal parabola, if you think about that, if you draw a vertical line through a horizontal parabola, it's going to cross the parabola in two places, meaning it's not a function. So conics in Algebra 2 are one of the first places that we are dealing with equations that are not functions. Our standard template is going to be a squared letter on one side, either x or y, and on the other side equals this expression for py. When the x is squared, we have a vertical parabola, and if p is positive, it will open up, and if p is negative, it will open down. And you can see on here and record for your notes the how to find the coordinates of the focus and the equation for the directrix. If the y is squared, then it's a horizontal parabola, and again, a positive value of p will be to the right, and a negative value of p will be to the left. And again, you can record here for your notes how to get the coordinates of our focus and our directrix. On all of our conics that we're starting with now, our vertex and or the center is going to be at the origin. If we take a line that is parallel to the directrix through the focus, the width of the parabola at that point will be 4 times p. So just summarizing in a picture here what we just talked about, we have our parabola. Again, the distance from the focus to the vertex is p units, as well as on the other side of the vertex, p units to the directrix. And if we go from the focus parallel to the directrix, we have 2p in this direction and 2p in this direction for a total width here of 4p, as we stated in the last slide. So let's go through an example of sketching a, a uh, graph of a parabola. Now in this case, since we have y squared, we know it's a horizontal parabola. Now this parabola is not currently in standard form. To standard form, we would have the y squared. So let's look at the solution to this and we'll talk through this. So our first step is to write the parabola in standard form. So you can see that here. I multiply both sides by negative 16. And this number we want to break into two numbers, 4 times something and the thing that we would have to multiply it by is the p. So in this case we have a negative p which means our parabola is going to open to the left. Using our formulas that we had, the focus is going to be, as shown here, negative 4, 0. Our directrix will be a vertical line and it will be at the opposite value of p or x equals 4. Our line of symmetry in this case is our x-axis which is the equation is y equals 0. To graph it, we're going to plot several points. We will plot our vertex, and then we will go up. Well, to find the focus, we went four units, which was p, to the left. 
and then to get two other points for our parabola we will go two times p so in this case eight units up and eight units down to get points so now we have our vertex at zero zero and the three points and we can sketch our parabola we should also sketch in on our graph our directrix let's look at another example Okay, in this example our x is squared so we know that means we are going to have a vertical parabola this one is already in standard form so we can split the 12 by dividing it by 4 into 4 times 3, so our p is 3, so our focus is going to be 3 units up from the vertex. And you can see here our directrix line of symmetry is our y-axis. And again, to get 3 points, we have our vertex for now is going to be at 0, 0. And 2 points to the side by using our definition of the width of a parabola. So we are going, in this case, 2 times 3 are six units to the right and six units to the left and then sketch our parabola shape through our three points. Now we might want to go the other way. We might be given a graph or given information about a parabola and we want to write its equation. We really only have one form or one number in our template to figure out and that's the value for p and we can determine P if we have information about the directrix and the focus. The distance between the focus and the directrix is 2 times P. The distance between the focus and the vertex is P. Or the distance between the vertex and directrix are P. So given pairs of those information we can determine P. We'll also need to know and figure out whether the parabola is horizontal or vertical so that we plug into the appropriate template. So let's look at a couple examples. Our first example, our vertex is at the origin, which is true of all of our problems here, and the focus is at negative 2, 0. This point is on the x-axis and left of the origin, so that means our parabola is horizontal and opening to the left, because the parabolas always wrap around the focus. We also know that our value of p is negative 2 and we're going to plug into the horizontal template so we can summarize that here so y squared is the horizontal template we calculate this by taking four times negative two okay in this example our focus is on the y-axis and it's above the vertex so this is a vertical uh, parabola and opening upward so our p-value is going to be positive three and we can again fill in our template this time we will have x squared because it's a vertical parabola and this number will be positive because it's opening upward. When we have the directrix in the vertex, this is still the value of p. We're six units away from the vertex, but p is going to be the opposite of this, so p is negative six. Also the directrix is a vertical line, so that means our parabola is perpendicular to that or it is uh, horizontal and opening to the left. So our equation here would be as shown here. Again the y squared because it's horizontal. Finally, if we have the focus and the directrix, remember the distance between the focus and the directrix is 2 times p, so the distance between negative 4 and 4 on the uh, x -ax or the uh, y-axis is 8 units, so our p is 4 and the focus is below the origin so we have a vertical parabola opening down with a value of p of negative four giving us the equation as shown here i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll see you in class